we are just on our way to Backyard Bike Shop to upgrade, no, side grade. Side grade, what? can you say side grade? To side grade Daisy's bike. We're turning it from a e-bike into a not e-bike. I've also got my mountain bike in the back because uh, a part has come, very important part, to get me rolling back at full capacity again. Just realized I'm never gonna ride my e-bike like, for a long time. <laughs> I should have gone and done like a, a goodbye ride or something. We're also gonna put some new tires on, get her gravel bike rolling, and I'm very pleased to say that I'm on a rest week. Finally had a chat with Ken, time for some chill. I'm very, very happy about this. I'm gonna spend most of the week eating and sleeping. Or maybe some tiny short rides, till once. So we're here at Backyard Bike Shop. Got the wheel for Daisy's bike. Apparently this is the only wheel in existence that will ever fit an e-bike motion bicycle e-bike. E-bike, that's like that. It looks all good and nice and new. I'm kind of jealous. There's a guy riding your bike. There's a guy on your bike. Wait, what are you doing? What? Get off Daisy's bike. I just noticed one thing that the brakes are reversed. <laughs> You're in the Dude, UK now, I mate. popped this a wheelie it. and I already went over the back end. Okay, that was the worst acting ever. A lot of you will know, this is Jasper. What are you doing in Newcastle, Cycling Jasper? Fanatics. Um, I'm just here for the day. A layover, talking to Francis about bikes. We're gonna do some fun stuff in the future. Who knows? What are we gonna do? We're gonna ask the audience. Put in the comments down below what you think we should do together. Bike related? YouTube, it doesn't have to be bike related. It'd be good if it was bike related. Uh, it's the only skill I have. I think we're gonna do some crazy, crazy riding in the near future. I'm not sure about these brakes. I literally almost crashed because I was doing, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a wheelie for the video. And then I just <laughs> whop, went over the backside. So I'm not sure. I have a plane to catch, so. Enjoy, mate. See you later. Stay safe. How much to eat that? Eat the jockey worm. No, the, oh. no, the jockey worm. Uh, Yours was pretty bad yesterday. No, jockey worms. Don't talk about my jockey worm. I just have. I think you need a bigger mask, Sam. What do you mean? Well, fits my face perfectly. You could get a mask that's the same color as your beard. Maybe get it with flames on it, maybe. I with flames on it. Yeah. Where the mask is printed under your chin, yeah, so yeah, then it looks like you're not wearing one. Like on TikTok. Everything is from TikTok, Francis. So what's the deal with the wheel that you've put on? Are there not many options if you want to switch because of the hub spacing? The problem at the moment is, no, it's uh, got to do with, yeah, um, end caps, converters, so you get quick release, obviously, and then 12 mil for the rear, and then front you get 15 mil, 12 mil, quick release, loads of different options. But a lot of wheel brands, you struggle to get end caps. Where DT Swiss, the wheels come with all the end caps included, so you can kind of pick what you want to run. So if you have an e-bike motion system like Daisy's, yeah. and you want to do what we've just done, the easiest wheel to do it with is Deed Swiss. I mean, there are other wheels you can do. The nice thing with that as well is if she decides later to get a different bike and swap the wheel over, we just change the end caps again. Yeah. So it's, it's just for longevity, it's much easier. And it's not even an expensive wheel. No. What is that? Uh, G. G eighteen hundred. G eighteen hundred. They're really easy to set up tubeless as well. They're easy to service. Obviously we do custom builds, but I think the biggest thing for the shop is wheels. Stock a lot of wheels. It's something somebody wants to buy on the spot and look at in different options. So we've kind of, DT Swiss is probably one of our more popular brands just because ease. We know it's gonna work on any bike. There you go, if you're in the market for wheels, you should come to Backyard Bike Shop in Newcastle. Even if you live a million miles away in a different country, you should fly here because there's an international airport you may even have Jasper as a pilot and we might even be here still because we just hang out here and, and eat cakes. Mission number two of the day. We're heading to Atticus HQ because they've finally got stock of all of their bib shorts. We're gonna have a quick look at them and you're having a fitting and we can catch up with Jimmy and Emily and see how they're doing as well. Nice to hang out. I think they've been at work for many, many hours over the last few days so they probably want a break and some human interaction. Daisy's just reminded me that the bib shorts are actually launched tomorrow. So when this video goes live, they will also be live. So if you want a pair, I'll put them in a link down below. I'm glad we're running these errands today because outside is just miserable. Thanks. Whoa. Hello, my friend. She's dancing. Oh God. She needs a bit WD-40. I am number 10. Your bib shorts are in stock. Yeah, uh, are they? When's this going live? What day is tomorrow? Friday. They're in stock. 
No, they're not. Oh, no, wait. No, stop. Right, stop. We need to think about this. Yes, it is, but what? Do not give a date. Sign up to our mailing list to find out when they're going live. But it is in stock now or not? Have I just got it all wrong in the car? Officially, what we say is we announce uh, the times and dates of our launches via our mailing list. The reason that we do this is sometimes our more popular items go out of stock quite quickly, and we have people who are very, very, very keen and have been waiting a very long time to get them. In the interest of fairness, what we do is release the time and date via the mailing list. If you signed up there, you'll know exactly when they're going live and you can get it done so sign up you'll find out i'm going to put a link down below to the mailing list for atticus if you want a pair of bib shorts sign up to the mailing list and then i will change the link the day after this video goes out to the actual website the mailing list is the website just go on the website scroll at the bottom there's a little box it's Literally. the same link <laughs> it doesn't need to be though you get a password to a key in a box in a field and then you go to there and then you pick up the box and then it has a number and you call the number and then we tell you how to maybe get shorts. On the real mailing list. This is a real app you send, you get mail. That's how it works. That is essentially what our business is. Oh, I thought you sent them via 3D printer and people digital, printed it. Digital prints. It's an NFT. It's what exactly is an NFT? What Are NFTs the ones where they're encrypted or they're not encrypted? What do you want to know about these? So we have a navy and a black, uh, which we had before, but we have updated them slightly with new embroidery. For our foundation shorts, we use what we call our foundation chamois pad. It's made with these guys, Elastic Interface. They are considered one of the best pad makers in the world. They supply some very, very big brands. We have worked with them on finding a pad we feel is uh, just the best all rounder. So basically these are, it's, a, it's an endurance pad our philosophy is that if it's going to work all day it's also going to be comfortable for a couple of hours as well basically these are good all all day all round shorts you obviously know you've worn them for sort of multi-day events as does chris as does the internationals this is the women's pad uh the women's and the men's do look quite drastically different it has more of a um what do they call it a modesty area at the front the women's is slightly larger on the sit bone area um but generally they are made with a kind of um perforated material which helps absorb moisture quicker they're also completely recycled materials um, but yes, it's a single layer of foam, which we feel works better for a larger range of saddles, as all of us know. And when you when you are getting into cycling, what you realise is comfort on a bike is a really difficult thing to achieve. It can be down to a chamois, but it can also be down to a saddle, and it can be down to fit, and it can be down to how those things work together. So I think really in finding and testing this pad, what we were looking for is something that works best for the broader spectrum. I think that would have been successful. If you have a look on our website, you'll see loads and loads of customer reviews about these two pads. Um, and thankfully we have people like you, people like Chris Hall, people like the internationals who have done really big, tough events in these pads. And I guess the, the proof is in the pudding in the there. Pud. So these are actually my ones. Thank you very much. Yes, it's been raining. Why aren't you riding? I'm on a day off. Why? I'm tired. I thought you rode every day. Yeah. Big boy. That's what you usually call yourself, isn't it? Francis Big Boy. Oh yeah, it's Francis. Francis Big Boy. What's happening, Jimmy? You coming out for a bike ride? I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty tiring day considering there was zero bike riding involved. I wonder what our TSS was. Great to catch up with Jimmy and Emily. If you want to support them, small business in the UK, making some fantastic cycling kit, or you were holding out, waiting for their bib shorts to be in stock, link down below to either get on the mailing list or buy some kit, depending yeah. when this is that you're watching it.